today we're going to jump into what's going on with the rack, where I'm at with it. I hope to get it back up and running by the end of the day today. And it's come at a price. I've hurt myself a couple times here uh, doing some stuff on it. But I want to first start off by thanking our sponsor for this video, which is thechiaplot.net. And they have an ongoing theme, which is Chialutions. And you can actually enter and they've got some giveaways. I believe space books in a ridiculous amount is one of the potentials for you to win. Uh, but it also, it's really just a good thing to do to kind of set some goals, make some uh, guidelines, see if you can hit those Chialutions in the new year. And one of my Chialutions, I think my first one, let's get into it here, getting this server rack back up and powered on. So I'm gonna take you on a quick little tour of what's going on and I've got an in-depth series coming up, but that is going to be a different video, uh, maybe a couple of videos, because honestly, I'm at several hours worth of video just racking and all the stuff that I've done and going through each little piece of it. And I think that there's some really good things that people that have racks or are thinking about racks might be interested in considering, especially if they have not ever had a rack yet. So let's do a quick high-level overview of where we're at. One of the things that you've got to... <laughs> Ask yourself when you're in the middle of a project is how big of a mess have I made and where am I at as far as getting done? I, I've got to say, I've made a pretty big mess. I am actually very close to the part where we are done. This is just dangerous. Like somebody's going to walk out. That's probably me that's going to walk out and hit my head. Uh, already hit myself pretty hard in the nose yesterday while I was pulling one of these up. Did manage to get this really nice PDU tied in here with a ridiculous amount of zip ties but also it is like solid in place i have a nice area that it's resting on down here and it cannot move forward or back at all so i feel good about this on the level of sketchiness i think this is going pretty low really glad that i got that installed that is uh after causing me some serious pain also i had to since this is a 220 volt part uh install a twist lock this is an l630p and so circuit a and coming up in the video will be me wiring that in so be sure to watch that if you guys are interested i do have some hard drive swappage that's coming up i'm actually going to put the larger terabyte hard drives inside the sc846 and inside the netapp i'm going to have the smaller hard drives I don't know if there's a performance difference, but I think that there could be possibly a, a faster lookup time because I've swapped all the hardware in all of these also. So I have put in the 2697 V2s inside here. Inside here are the 2667 V2s and they all are running 128 gigabytes of RAM or bigger. And also this up here is going to be running a bunch of hypervisors. I've also got the KVM installed now, and we're going to have probably this be the next populated disk shelf that I'm going to put together. So I've also got a couple other servers over there. I've got a ridiculous amount of networking gear. So I've got to say, if you are in the Austin area and if you're looking for networking gear, I'm going to give away some networking gear. Uh, what do I got here? Let's take a look real quick. So I've got a couple of switches. These are just gigabit switches. They are ridiculously loud. I think they have some fans that may be broken. Uh, I can't tell you for sure. But these two switches, I am going to be giving those away as well. I think that there is a PowerConnect 6224 here. This one's actually not bad. Uh, going to be giving that away. This is not SF, uh, SFP+. Plus. This is just SFP. So these are 1.25 gigabit per second. If you're in the Austin area and you want to drive and you know where Jester Kings is, let me know because... I'm going to be giving those away. Got another server here that we're going to be putting in also. And also, we've got a new exciting kind of crypto that's coming up that will be able to make use of low power. This is a GT1030. And this is definitely a low power part, which is also OpenCL 1.2 compliant. Mad Max has been busy. He's got a new crypto coming out. And so it's kind of a fork. And it's all something that's going to be doing Time Lord operations so you're going to be able to have a Time Lord that's basically running off of an OpenCL 1.2 graphics card. Really cool stuff. So we will be setting up one of those and hopefully I can get this up and running by the end of the day. So sound off below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Like I mentioned, if you're in the Austin area and you're looking for some networking gear, let me know because I will meet up with you eh, not too far from my house. I'm not going to do, go crazy driving around Austin. 
you can do that. Uh, but I will be giving away those if you guys are interested in them. Be sure to check out the chiaplot.net. Also, they've got a great Discord. Those links are below. And also, you can always find me at my Discord, links below, at GoSpaceBoard on Twitter and DigitalSpaceBoard.com. And we will see you guys next time. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and check out these videos for more information on your favorite crypto topics.